my father, the king. I guess another paladin. I will keep Tark Reaper and True Silver. Tark Reaper is pretty valuable to keep me alive against like Murloc assaults, especially considering there's no health buff on War Leader anymore. So Tark Reaper can kill most things with attack into it, uh, and then True Silver helps you pick apart their Murloc board. Maybe it's a control deck. We'll play Galaka. I want to get ahead with board dominance. I'm doubting that if he's hero powering on two, he has pirates in his deck. Okay, I'm gonna play a creeper. I'm gonna trade with your guy in case maybe you're kidneys or something. I might trade him just hit. Well, this clearly looks like some sort of controlling deck. Let's get my true center down. Could be a very slow mid range draw or a control deck. Can go. Alright. Well, we definitely want to kill this so uh, our opponent cannot just spike ridge steed it. Killing this, gonna coin out Bone Mare. I don't want him. I don't want him uh, steeding or Bone Maring that. Obviously, leaves me with a very strong board, too. Uh, still have the Curator to play on Curve next turn. Do I still do Magic stuff? I've not played Magic in quite a while. The last Magic event that I played in was over a year ago. Um, I have wanted to go to a number of Magic events, uh, but they've ended up being uh, conflicts with like Hearthstone tournaments or like BlizzCon was you know the, the uh, same weekend as the most recent Magic Pro Tour, so kind of some scheduling problems. Oh, Curator. I'm gonna trade like this. There's no reason... I've already done both of my Galakas. Um, there's no reason for me to let him get something. Ooh, okay. Um, I guess this is a good Tarum, oppor or, uh, tarum opportunity. Hero power, Tarum. We'll Tarum the Curator into it, because we'd rather have Tarum protecting uh, our other minion. My other option is what? I mean, I could, I could equality, obviously. So yeah, Tarum, we trade in the taunt, because we want the only taunt that we will to attack into being a 7 health one. Can I tell you that Ragnaros Lightler is still a good card? I think Ragnaros is medium right now. The Menagerie is for guests only. The Menagerie is for guests only. Death Gripped, a Firefly. <laughs> Holy light! Um, alright, it's Uther time. The light's justice has failed. Um, I actually think I'm gonna trade this guy in. If I attack this in, then he can he can pyro co uh, consecration and clear my board. So I'd rather actually uh, keep the health on Tarum. The battle. Oh, I need a pro tour back in like the late '90s. That, I mean, that would be a, a, a Kavu period. I guess the the late '90s was that uh, was actually. Like 2000 when the Kavus started to make their appearance. Um, well, this is somewhat annoying. No peace, no rest. Uh, Squeeway B. Davy, thank you very much for the sub. Welcome. Reporting for duty. 
Terra was great. We're gonna Consecration him here. And get set up to possibly tear him him. We're saving this redemption pretty much until we draw Tyrion. I mean, at least keep up with what's going on in Magic. Uh, I am. Whoa. Alright. Uh, let's draw Spike Ridge Steed for free. A free Spike Ridge Steed seems tr attractive. Spike Ridge Steed? Spike Ridge Steed. Come on. I played against, I played against someone who, who played Millhouse out of a Control Paladin deck before, and he beat me. Oh, I drew Spike Ridge Steed. Well, that's convenient. That's exactly what I wanted to draw. Okay, so I can attack here. We can hero power, flame elemental, sunkeeper, weapon this down, play the free spike ridge steed, kill his millhouse. I'm actually just two hero powers away from apocalypsing him. Uh -oh. I have a feeling there's an equality coming. Maybe maybe it's a consecration. Okay. Well, he can choose to kill this, and I will immediately get a guy anyway. But if he doesn't, the apocalypse could come. Psychedelic Shepherd, thanks for the sub. Welcome. No we got a plan. It involves this button. Okay. He's used both consecrations. One pyro, one equality. It's probably best for me to just equality kill this. Still have another one. Alright, well, we'll trade in the Stegadon for this after quality. I think a noble sacrifice. Protect my guys. Two more buttons. Don't promote you'll drink me. Uther. Okay. Right now, I have these two taunts, and I have a noble sacrifice protecting from the first swing. Alright. Alright. Here it comes. Can you clear my guys? Or is it legitimately going to be an actual apocalypse win? Not even a meme one where I just sit there and don't kill someone until I get it off. He basically has to have pyro quality or like primordial drake. I guess he could have like pyro and just any spell. To, to kill one of them, yeah, there it is. Oh, and he gets to swing at another one. Forbidden healing, yep. Okay. Ooh, Stonehill. I'll take a Tyrion. Mostly because I want the taunt to protect the horsemen! Get him! This guy, kind of want you to, because then I can play Tyrion Redemption. But I actually want to use my hero power more than I want to play Redemption. The Frozen Throne calls. Hey, 
Eh, we'll just Tyrion. We're gonna kill this guy. Uh, no we're not. Because I want to I get the Apocalypse off. Gotta get through the Tyrion and kill one of these guys. So I used both Consecrations, both Pyromancers. Is it going to be my first legit Apocalypse win? Quality. Okay. Steed. We're doing it! He has, he has a, a steeded Wicker Flame Burn Bristle, but it does not matter. Ta-da! And he didn't even concede! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> it finally happened for real!